Is unlimited kindness always a true virtue? In our daily lives, sometimes the urge to always give without limit can be detrimental to ourselves. Along with the ancient wisdom of Stoic philosophy, we are reminded that giving without taking care of ourselves can be a path to destruction. Imagine being the one who is always ready to help, yet ultimately feeling alone when we need support. Does kindness that drains our own resources, energy and well-being really bring happiness? Let's explore the principles of Stoicism to discover how to give kindness without losing ourselves. On this journey, let's explore the line between kindness and self-protection wisely together. 1. Don't light yourself to warm others. In our journey of kindness, it is often tempting to be the torch that keeps burning to keep others warm. However, be wise in understanding that too much kindness without taking care of ourselves can lead us to the brink of burnout and personal destruction. Marcus Aelius, the wise Stoic philosopher, warned that self-sacrifice is not a virtue, but a path to destruction. Imagine yourself as someone who is always ready to help, giving of yourself endlessly until there is nothing left. Yet, when we are in need, we find ourselves alone. Excessive kindness without regard for our own resources and well-being can leave us feeling empty, unappreciated, even burnt out. So, let's reflect before getting too deep into helping others. Ask yourself, is the help we give sustainable and are we taking care of our own well-being? Stoicism teaches us to maintain balance, to be generous without losing ourselves. That way, our kindness can be a source of strength, not weakness. 2. Don't be seen and treated as fragile. Being kind to others is a highly valued virtue, but often too much kindness can put us in a vulnerable and fragile position. Some of us may feel compelled to always be willing to help without thinking about our own limits. However, Stoic philosophy teaches us that true strength lies in the ability to firmly set boundaries, build a solid inner fortress and draw clear lines to protect our personal space. Often, the inability to say no firmly keeps us trapped in the role of an infinitely available giver. However, the moment we start saying no, we feel a shift in power. It's not about being selfish, but about valuing ourselves and building a strong foundation to support others more effectively. Cicero, a Stoic scholar, emphasized that how we view ourselves is far more important than how others view us. By setting boundaries, we not only affirm our self-worth, but also send a strong message to the world that we have high self-esteem. This is a story about finding courage in refusing to be fragile, and instead, forming a tough and dignified self-image. 3. Respond to requests without limits. In the course of life, we often find ourselves faced with various requests from others. However, the principle of Stoicism provides us with important guidance on how to respond to these limitless requests wisely. Imagine a story about a man who is always willing to help anyone without thinking of himself. Although his intentions were pure, he found himself trapped in a maze of infinite requests. In the course of his life, he learns that giving without limits is not only detrimental to himself, but also hinders the growth of others. The principle of Stoicism teaches us to set healthy boundaries in providing support. It is not about refusing to help, but about giving wisely so that we can continue to benefit without harming ourselves. We can internalize the wisdom of this story, understanding that giving in a balanced way is key to maintaining balance in our lives. By recognizing our needs and limitations, we can provide help mindfully and make a positive impact without compromising our personal well-being. Through the application of this principle, we can become resilient helpers without losing track of our own life journey. 4. Reciprocity has a time limit. In the maze of life, kindness is the breath of our soul. 
However, like the seeds we sow, we must let go of expectations for each seed to grow over time. The Stoic principle shows us that true kindness is giving without tying oneself to a definite return. It is like planting a tree and trusting nature to take care of it. Once we give, we have to forget the expectation of the return of each of our kindnesses in equal proportion. Like art, unconditional kindness is a valuable lesson from Stoic philosophy. Epictetus, a wise Stoic, counseled that we concentrate on our actions, not the outcome. This is not a call to close our hearts, but to free ourselves from the burden of expectations that can disappoint. Once we plant kindness, let it grow with nature. Don't be bound by time or expectations of reward. Every act of kindness we do is a beauty that lives within us, not a score to be balanced. That is the stoic message, that in unconditional giving, we find true freedom and abundant happiness. On the path to kindness and support of others, ancient Stoic principles offer valuable guidance for maintaining a deep balance between caring for others and caring for one's own well-being. Strategies to avoid exploitation and build meaningful relationships require assertiveness in setting boundaries, a journey that lies in two important aspects. First, the importance of removing the fear of saying the word no becomes the first foundation. Stoicism teaches that refusing requests without feeling guilty is the first step in embracing self-worth. Why does the word no feel heavy? Reflect on childhood lessons that associate kindness with acceptance. Through the Stoic view, we can decide to make choices based on wisdom and a sense of responsibility, rather than simply responding to the desire to be accepted. Secondly, Stoicism teaches the true meaning of thoughtful generosity. It is not just about giving without expectation of return, but also about being aware of the impact of our kindness on ourselves, assessing our actions and their impact, ensuring that our kindness does not harm our own vitality. Stoicism teaches us to strike a balance, recognizing that strong relationships are when both parties grow together, not when one party suffers for momentary success. By combining the assertiveness of refusing excessive requests with the wisdom of giving wisely, we can build a meaningful life and strengthen relationships by honoring our own needs. Stoicism, as a guide in crafting these principles, provides a solid foundation for living a life of kindness without sacrificing ourselves. Continue to explore Stoic wisdom in your every step towards true goodness. Do you agree that infinite kindness requires a wise balance? Share your thoughts in the comments section. Don't forget to like this video if you find value and subscribe to get more philosophical insights. Thank you for your support and see you in the next content.